Welcome to this short review on uh, GNU Cash. Uh, this is for your accounting quiz. We've just finished playing Monopoly in class and you had to record all your transactions. Of course now you're being quizzed on being able to do that. Um, so I'm going to run through how to do that. You should have received this document here uh, in class. If not, it's available on our Moodle page. Um, you'll notice that I deleted number six out there. I left it blank, but there was a transaction for a trade. Um, I decided we're probably not going to do that on the on the actual quiz, um, so I just deleted that one out there. But I left the spot open in case you saw that and were confused. So anyway, for the quiz, you're going to be uh, given a GNU Cash file, so it's going to be something very similar to this. Um, the file will have all the um, accounts in it and it won't have any transactions except probably the very initial transaction of receiving uh, cash as an invest investment from the owner. Uh, your job will be to enter in a whole bunch of other uh, transactions. Now if I give you a file and you download it, um, if you try to open it by default uh, GNU Cash will try to open the file that you had open prior to this. Uh, so really to open it you're going to have to go file to open and then go find from your uh, downloads the file that I downloaded to you and you'll have to open that one. But I've got this one pulled up so let's quickly run through uh, some transactions. Uh, the first one is that initial investment that one's already done for us so I'm going to skip that. The next one is bought property, bought States Avenue for $140 most of the transactions you're going to do are going to be in the cash account. They might affect other accounts, but we only have to input them in one place uh, and then when we, if we input them properly, they will be recorded in the other accounts as well. Uh, so I'm going to open up my cash account and that first thing that we're going to do is I bought States Avenue. Um, the things that are important here, of course, I need a transfer account. If I don't put one in then I'll end up with this uh, un unbalanced, imbalance account um, that I'll have to go back and fix later. I don't want anything left in that. Uh, but this I'm buying a asset, it's property, so I'll buy it. Um, I'll tab over and I spent, I forgot the amount, $140. So I put that in, $140. That one's done. Next one, when I land on somebody else's property, um, we often do this on account. In fact, um, the way it will look on your test is it will actually say on account. That means it's not due yet. Player 1 created an invoice for me, they sent it to me, and I have to pay it at some point in the future. So for me, that's really a bill. So what I have to do is go into my businesses, to my vendors, and I can go to a vendors overview here, and if I don't have a vendor in, I would have to put it in, but your vendors will be in for you. Um, and we got to create a new bill. I can either go there or I can go businesses, uh, vendor, new bill. So I'm going to use Riley's. We're going to do a new bill from Riley's. Okay. Um, I'll put in a description. Landed on Tennessee. Oops, spell it right. Uh, the expense account here is going to be rent expense. The important thing here is that I really do have to put in a quantity. If I don't put in a quantity, uh, I won't have anything in my subtotal down here. So I put in my quantity of one. My unit price was $14. And I'm done with my bill. You will be asked to print that bill. So you'll click print. There you go. Um, you will also be asked to change the name of your company so your name shows up up here. Uh, I'll give you instructions for that during the quiz, don't worry about that. But you'll print off that bill. Um, the other thing that you must do is you must post it. If you don't post it, it's not going to show up. It shows right now I don't have any accounts payable, I don't owe anything, it's because I haven't posted that bill. So I click post, make sure it says post to accounts payable and I click, I obviously could change the due date if I wanted, but I'm just going to leave it, and I'll click OK. Alright, so my bill is done. Uh, if I've printed it, I can actually close it. I don't need it anymore. Um, and I, for our example, I'm not going to need my vendors anymore. So we did my landed on Tennessee. If somebody lands on me, 
and again this will say they owe me rent on account because it's not owed yet um, I need to create an invoice so much like I did with the bills I'll go to my customers this time I can do my customers overview if I want and create a new invoice or I could go through that menu customers to new invoice uh, put in the customers name I only have one customer and just like the bill I should put a description so I'm gonna put St. Charles the income account Oops. Um, it's a 400 level account it's income rental income the quantity again you must put in a quantity quantity of one and they owe me ten dollars I'm gonna leave this one open because we're gonna come back to it and we're going to put another line item on it um, it wouldn't matter you could post it and then create another invoice later uh, but again this one you are also gonna have to print so I'm gonna go back to my cash account and I'm gonna do a few more things if I pass go I collected 200 that's very easy passed go collect income and I received 200 I really like how GNU cash puts the debit and credit as receive and spend in the cash account uh, and the other accounts it does similar sorts of things so there's my past go paid to get out of jail beautiful um, that's going to be an expense and it'll be a miscellaneous expense so I'll put that in and I spent fifty dollars that transactions done uh, next one is community chest so I'm paying to three different players there fifty dollars to each um, so I'll put that in as community chest uh, again that's an expense and that's a miscellaneous one you'll notice there when I open that up that you've also got taxes that if you land on luxury tax you put it in that category um, after community chest I'm mortgaging things and this one takes a little bit longer because um, the mortgaging is pretty straightforward right I mortgage my description mortgage Tennessee um, and the account that I transfer from is my liabilities mortgage it's, I owe money so I'm going to use my liabilities account um, and I received I think it was ninety dollars yep ninety dollars but when I go to unmortgage it, you'll notice it costs $99. So when I go to unmortgage Tennessee, um, I'm spending $99. Uh, but it's not all really going to pay back the principal. So I, I could put it as paying back my mortgage. Um, but if I do it just like that, and in fact, I'll, I'll do that a second. If I go look in my cash, or in my accounts, it'll show that I have a negative balance in my mortgage and that's not really true um, what I should do is I should split this transaction and I can either do it by entering two separate transactions or by doing a split uh, so I'll first show do the two separate transactions because that's probably a little easier I could say I paid back ninety dollars um, unmortgaging unmortgaging Tennessee and then I could put a separate line item for an interest payment um, and that would be again a uh, miscellaneous expense and so I spent nine dollars there that'd be the way to do it through two separate transactions if I preferred I'll delete that a second I could take this transaction and I could split it and my cash would say I've actually spent ninety nine and that extra nine dollars that's left then would be that miscellaneous expense and then it puts that so ninety dollars went to the mortgage nine dollars to miscellaneous expense and ninety nine dollars came out of cash that'd be especially nice if I had written a check um, and I want and so I had record of one check being going out rather than doing two separate transactions uh, but if it's easier just do two separate transactions so we did both of those uh, if we buy a house whoopsies if we buy a house uh, that's pretty straightforward bought house on Tennessee uh, the transfer account again this is an asset I bought some houses and I spent a hundred dollars and the last one uh, player one landed on Tennessee they owe me eighteen dollars so now I'd have to go back to my invoice 
put Tennessean, my rental, my income is, account is my rental income. Make sure I put my quantity in again, and the price was 18. Now I can post my invoice. You must post your invoices just like the uh, bills, otherwise you won't see anything in accounts receivable. So we post it. It goes to my accounts receivable. Notice that. Click OK. Now it's posted. And now before I do anything else, before I pay off these bills because they're not due yet, before I receive money because I just created these, these invoices, uh, what I need to do is print the invoice and then print my balance sheet, reports, assets, and liabilities. If you can't find it, ask help. Balance sheet. Oh, there it is. And it shows you exactly where it is. So balance sheet. I've got to print this off. Uh, the other report I've got to print off is my income statement under income and expense. Notice that'll show my rental income, my rental expenses, and my balance sheet will show those accounts receivable and accounts payable. If I don't have balances in those two things, then I'm probably not doing something right. I probably forgot to post. If I see a uh, Another account here called imbalance, it probably means I did something wrong, uh, so I'll have to go back and fix that. It probably just means you didn't put a transfer account in one of your uh, transactions. I hope this helps. Uh, if you've got any questions, of course, email me, call me, uh, text me, whatever, uh, or bring them to class on whatever day you have the quiz.